Hey, this is exciting because I'm, I'm, I've got my verses in front of me. I know what I want to say, but uh, I don't have any notes. So here we go. Happy Monday, October 23rd. We are in Philippians chapter 1. For the first time, I, I, I'm starting middle of verse 20, and I'm stopping after we get into verse 23. So it's sort of a little passage there, and it, it says this, Christ will be honored in my body whether by life or by death. For to me, to live is Christ and to die is gain. If I am to live in the flesh, that means fruitful labor for me. Yet, which shall I choose? I cannot tell. I am hard pressed between the two. You see, Paul is really sharing with us. I mean, God is inspiring his words. And, and Paul is really telling us and letting us get a glimpse of his relationship with Jesus. You see, what he's saying is, is I have, com I would like to say Paul is letting us know he's completely sacrificed himself to Christ. Christ will be honored in my body, whether by life or by death. What he's saying is, is I've given my whole self over to Christ. Uh, and, and if I live and work and minister and travel and tell people about Jesus and tell people about the gospel and do all the things that, that I've, I've, I've longed and sought to do in my life since Jesus changed me on the road to Damascus, Christ will be honored whether I live or whether I die. You see? And that's the testimony that all of us as Jesus' followers should have. You see, and so when we look at Paul's life and study Paul's life, Paul's the one who said, follow me as I follow Christ or imitate me as I imitate Christ. So what Paul's telling us, and, and this is the first chapter of Philippians, this is one of Paul's favorite congregation of followers of Jesus. And he says this with, with encouragement for them. He says, Christ will be honored in my body. This is Philippians chapter 1. It's in verse 20 into verse 23, and it says, Christ will be honored in my body, whether by life or by death. For me to live, for to me to live is Christ and to die is gain. If I am to live in the flesh, that means fruitful labor for me. Yet, which shall I choose? I cannot tell. I am hard pressed between the two. When we get to those last two little sentences right there, it's going to be an interesting little consideration for us. Paul wants to be with Jesus, and yet he knows God has a purpose and a plan for his life. Guess what? God has a purpose and a plan for our lives as well. See you tomorrow.